Hello there, welcome back to my bench again. In this tutorial I'm going to tie you up a fly on the real small side this time. It's a pattern I come up my, with myself a few years back. It's I tied on a 16 down to a 20 and once I tried this fly out I was quite pleased with the results. Caught a lot of trout on it. So I figured it's worth showing you guys this tie. So what I'll do is get this guy the vise, a hook in and we'll get started. I simply call this the uh, peacock parachute. So we'll take him out, get him a fresh hook in. I'm tying on a size 94840 Mustad, standard dry, size 16 here. Get him in the vise, lock down. And our thread is Vivas 14 hot black. And I'll start that on the hook right behind the eye here. And yeah, we're going to wrap that back to about halfway on the shank, just about. And then we're going to come back halfway and stop there for a wing. Snip that off. And I just have some Antron yarn here, cream color, I'm going to use for our wing posts. I'm going to tie that in using a pinch loop, come down, pinch loop. Right on top, wrap back, a few wraps, forward. Then we're going to come in front. Prop that wing up with this little thread dam in front here, just like so. Come back, snip off that excess. Now we're going to post up our wing. We're going to start wrapping up the post here, just like so. Just take your time with this. Can be a little tricky at times. And once you do a few, you'll get the hang of it. And then come back down once again. Down the post we go, right to the base, and a couple wraps in front of that. Now, next step is to tie in my hackle. And I have a size 16 grizzly hackle here, ready and prepared to tie in. So I want to tie him right in front of the post here. Just like so, and what we're going to do, once we tie him in here, just got to get him where I want him. Situate it. Okay. We're going to come in and go right up against the post here. And we're going to wrap this guy up the post as well. Just like so. Once we go up, then we're going to come back down once again. That's going to make that post even more sturdy, doing it this way. So we'll come down, just like so. Do we get to the bottom of our post and wrap behind? Come in, snip off that little stem right behind your eye there, get him out of the way. Just like so. Okay, now wrap back towards the bend of the hook. Cover up all those excess materials till we get just about above the barb here. Okay, now, next step is our tail, which is simply hack grizzly hackle barbels. Just want to get a half decent tail here, not too heavy, just enough for your size 16. Okay, we got those ready. Now, I'll tie those in, measure them up to hook shank length, right on top of the hook here. Bring your thread up, present them on top, just like so. Okay, then we're going to wrap back to just above the barb here. Just like so. There we go. There's our tail. I'm going to snip off those excess burbles here right behind the post. Secure those down good. Okay, then come back a little. And we're going to attach our body, peacock curl, three strands this time. And we're going to snip a little bit of them tips off there. We don't want those on there. And we're going to come in, tie those in right on top. Just like so here, right back. So for almost to the tail, then stop and make your loop. Like I always do, up around your finger, over the shank, then wrap back. Then wrap your bobbin or your thread around the base with your bobbin a couple times. Then take the loop and the peacock curl, and you want to end up right in front of your tail, then wrap forward to right behind the post. And you want to take these and you want to twist them a little. Like
like so here. Want that to make a rope. Then we're going to start to wrap that, our body. We're going to come up around. First wrap right in front of the tail here. Keep those snug wraps. Just like so here. And twist it up a little bit more. Keep wrapping forward. Just like so here. One more wrap. And one more right snug against the post. And then we're going to tie off. So we're going to come up. Around. And we're going to wrap back. Then up around once again. Then back. And we're going to snip off the excess. Just like so. Now we want our thread to end up right around the base like this, the post, and in front of you. That's where you want right in front of you, the thread to hang down in front on your side. So what we'll do next is before we wrap our hackle on the post, I'm going to do a little trick I use for durability. I'm going to take a little UV bone dry and go right around those thread wraps, like so, on the post, for a wrap. And that, once you cure that, it locks them in there solid. So, we'll get our hackle ready here to wrap. We're going to start right at the top of the post. Just like so here. We're going to begin to wrap down. One wrap right in front of the other. Just keep it coming down. Now I'm going to grab a hold of this with my pliers here. This for right now. Okay. Now you just want to keep wrapping that down. Just like so here. One more wrap should be fine. Okay, now what we're going to do is take our thread, go right underneath those hackle barbels, right around the post. Just like so. I'm going to make two to three wraps. And that should lock down your hackle tip. You can release your pliers and come in. Snip off that hackle tip here. Just like so. There we go. And any fibers you see that got trapped, just snip them off. There we go. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my whip finisher here. And I'm going to whip finish right around that bottom of that post. So I'm going to come in, get my whip finisher here, and I'm going to come right around the bottom. Like so. We're going to come in and go take two to three wraps around the post. Just like so. There's three, that's plenty. Come in. Cinch that whip finish in. Snug down on your thread. Come in, snip off the excess. Just like so. Okay, I got a few more trap fibers here. I want to snip out of the way. That's fine. Okay, a couple right here. There we go. There is another. I just got to trim the wing. I'm going to trim this wing. Hold that post up and trim down on a downward angle like so. You don't you want a short wing on this little guy. Just like so. There we go. There's another size 16 peacock parachute. <clears throat> so what I do next is take that light. And I'm going to cure that UV resin that we put on the post. And that will lock those hackle fibers right on there rock solid. So we'll cure that up. Just like so here. Let me take a few seconds. Okay, that's good for that. Now I'm going to flip it upside down. I want to put a little shot of head spin on those thread wraps underneath where we tied off our hackle. Just like so. There we go. He's a done deal. I'll give you a little close up here so you can see him a little better. There we go. Get the camera straightened out here. There, there's another. Whoops, we with that, folks. Size 16 peacock parachute. Like I say, it's just a pattern I created myself, but it, the fish really seem to love it, so. I hope you get a chance to give this guy a tie and a try next season and see how many trout you can catch on this little bugger so for now this is Hugh signing out once again from my shop 
and I want to thank you very much for watching of course and if you like and want to see more tutorials hit that good old subscribe button there and throw in a like as well if you wish so until next time I want to thank you for watching this is Hugh signing out and we'll see you again folks so long